what's up guys so today i'm gonna be doing an updated version of setting up my enemy centipede's cage he's in desperate need of a clean out so yeah i already cleaned it out but i'm gonna show you guys how i set it up because i do need an updated version of this my last one was ass and <laughs> left out a lot of details and stuff so let's just get into it first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take some of this bedding and coconut fiber perfect for vietnamese centipedes they're not like a dry arid species like the desert hairy or not the desert hairy what am i talking the giant desert centipede um that's a type of scorpion by the way desert hairy there are more tropical species from vietnam which is more tropical so they like, them, they like it a lot more moist because they they didn't know centipedes they can um dry out so you want to keep them nice and moist um I'm pretty good bit of this because they are a burrowing species. So. Put a lot of substrate for these guys. You won't regret it in the end because if they're not out, that means that they're doing good. But they're sitting at the top, that means that they're just looking for moisture and they're not doing that well because they're just so dry and they want you to spray the cage. But if they're underneath the ground, then they were living their best life and that's just what they like to do. They like living underneath the ground. So you're pretty much just gonna see a box of dirt 90% of the time unless your centipede's hungry, comes up for food or something. But other than that, he's just gonna be gone underneath the substrate. So it's pretty much just gonna be a box of dirt, but that's okay. Still love him, right? Okay. That's a good, and I might put one more little handful, because these guys like it deep. Like it deep, I tell you. Okay. All right, that's a good bit of substrate. Okay, so now, let's see what else I want to put in this cage. Put a little bit of this moss. Let me see if I have any left. Where the heck is my moss at? Here it is. Grab a little bit of this forest moss. Not that much. And I'm just gonna spray it in my hand. Get it nice and moist. make the cage have a little bit of color and keeps up the humidity a little bit so now how's water dish they're just gonna actually get a bigger water dish because they like they I'm not saying that they soak. But they definitely love their water. So, yeah. So I'm gonna fill this up and I'll be back to you guys. Right, you know, water just filled up. So I was gonna say, before we finish this little clean out, I will be going to Repticon this year in North Carolina, March, March 20th. Um, So, if you see me there, I know there's not a lot of you guys, but I know some of you probably go to Repticon. Um, if you see me there, feel free to come up to me and yeah, I'll talk to you. Um, yeah, I, let me know if you want to make a want me to make a vlog on that. If I can, I can walk through it for you guys, show all their inverts. There's not a lot of videos on Repticon about their inverts. This is pretty much about the reptiles. So I wasn't thinking about making a video based on and the inverts but i'll show all the animals if you want me to but I'll basically mostly on the inverts so just let me know um because i can yeah i'm gonna add in some foliage these guys don't need to hide because they burrow once again and here's a centipede I'm trying to show you guys let me lift this up it's my face 
There he is. All right. Let's put this back down. Give you guys a better look at that in a second. Okay. All right. So now what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to get him out first before I put this in here. So it's a little bit easier to manage. And I do have a roach. I'm going to attempt to feed him for you guys. Okay. So let me just loosen this up first. This is very dangerous, by the way. I not recommend ever doing this with the centipede, but all right, got the lid off. So now what I'm gonna do is tip it over. All right. Let me take this off to try to get some better shots of it for you guys. There he is, exploring his new home. I gotta make sure I hold this lid just in case he tries to do any dumb stuff. So there he is. I'm gonna try to give him a roach real quick. One sec, let me open this up. All right. Yeah, I had to kind of cut the video there because I was trying to get some shots of him, but all right, so now Got the roach. Let's see if we we'll eat. He probably won't. But hey, you never know, right? Come on, you've been eating so long, man. He's going to he's going wild. So now I'm just gonna let him roam his cage, I guess. He's not hungry, but I'll make a feeding video for you guys once everybody's hungry, all my animals. Um, Roach is going second mode over there, but it's okay. I'll actually probably dump it in here. And he'll find it. If he gets hungry enough, he'll find it. Um, and yeah. So, try to, what the hell are you doing, Roach? Really? But yeah, it's going to be for this video. If you guys enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe, please. And yeah, stay tuned for that Repticon vlog. And yeah. Put back in this foliage, he's gonna get pretty angry. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye.